What's good, man? It's your boy, YM, and I'm finally back on 2K24. Now, listen, I'm coming at y'all with the best point guard build. This point guard build, I'm not going to lie, you can use him anywhere in 2K. In the park, pro-am, stage, rec, he's going to be elite. And as y'all seen from the clips, I'm sparking that thing. You feel me? I'm sparking it. I can play make, I can dribble, I can shoot, and I can dunk a little bit so I'm not looking silly when I go to the paint, all right? Now, the builder this year is super, super strict, so I try to finesse you know, as much as I, I, as much as the builder as I could, you feel me? Now, do me a quick favor, man. We on the road to 10K. We're at 7.7K subs. Hit that like button, smash that subscribe button for your boy, and follow me on Twitch because I'm gonna be try to be live every day on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash it's just YM. It's right there below on your screen. But let's say, man, enough talking. Let's get right into it. All right, y'all. So I clearly don't have rebirth right now, but once you get rebirth, all you have to do is hit 90 overall to get rebirth. And once you get rebirth, you're gonna be able to start your player automatically at a 90 overall. Okay, so. For the hand, I'm not gonna lie, left-handers, left-hander players, they're getting a little bit of load-ups this year, okay? So I, I went with a right-handed PG, okay? I used to go with left, but I went with right. It's really up to you. It's not that much big, uh, it's not like that big of a difference, but I, I still see like a little bit of a difference. So go ahead, go with right, or if you really like left, go with left. Now, jersey number doesn't matter. Now, for the template, right? This is what we're gonna do right here. Point guard position, Cam, don't make them no shooting guard, make them at a PG. Now, I tried all of these heights right here. I tried from 5'11", 511 all the way to 6'3", okay? The best sweet spot right here, in my opinion, is 6'2", and you go ahead, you put the weight down to 165 pounds, and you put your wingspan to 6'5". Now, this right here, I'm telling you, I feel like this is going to be the sweet spot. Look at all the badges. If you look at the right of the screen, look at all the badges you can get on Hall of Fame and S tier. That's a lot of badges right there, okay? Now, listen. Boom. For the attributes, this is what we're going to do. Now, remember, when I'm making this build, he's a comp pro-am PG, okay? He's used in competitive pro-am. He's used in stage. You can use him in rec and park. As y'all seen in the clips, I was literally using, uh, like, all the clips y'all seen was either in the rec or the park. But this is a build that I will be using in the stage and in pro-am. Now, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead. Hold on. Let me go right back to it. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go to three-point shot. Put your three-pointer to a 96, okay? What that does is gives you gold limitless range. Now, if you view that right here, boom, you get gold limitless range. Now, you see, you need a 98 for a haul of, I ain't gonna lie, 98 you're never gonna be able to get. It's just gonna be super hard with because the build is super strict. It's super strict, all right? So you're gonna go ahead, go with 96 three ball. That's gonna be give you gold limitless range, gold dead eye, gold blinders, gold Asian threes. You obviously you get Hall of Fame catch and shoot, Hall of Fame green machine, guard up space creator all that all that good stuff all right now once you get that 96 three ball you're gonna go ahead and put your ball handle to a 95 now you're asking me why i need the ball handle at a 95 certain dribble moves certain dribble size ups and sigs the way y'all see me dribbling you need a 95 ball handle in order to unlock them so go ahead go with 95 and if y'all want my sigs and size ups i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna show y'all those in another video so go ahead let me know down below in the comment section if y'all want to see and like up the video now listen speed with ball speed with ball last year it did not matter you could leave it at an 83 you could put it down to an 80 but this year speed with ball matters why because of that speed booster badge you see right here that speed booster badge gives you gold speed booster 91 speed with ball you need that now listen next thing you're gonna do you're gonna go ahead and go to acceleration you're gonna put your acceleration to 93, all right? Once you put your Excel to 93, that's gonna give you Hall of Fame Speed Booster, Gold Blow By, Hall of Fame Spot Finder, okay? Now, boom. Once you have all this done, you gotta go to Stamina. Put your Stamina to 99, boom. You need that Stamina in order to dribble. Now, pass accuracy this year, this is why the build, or the builder is super, super strict. I'm gonna tell y'all why. Look, at 87, just at 87 pass accuracy, you unlock bailout on bronze that's crazy you need 87 pass act to unlock bronze bailout which i feel like it's not needed so i went ahead went with 80 pass accuracy okay i went with 80 pass act boom for the free throw free throw you can put it to like a 73 75 it's really up to you what do you want to do but i'm in this range right here from a 75 to a 78 to a 73 that's a pretty good range to be able to bring your free throws consistently in pro-am and in rec all right 
for the dunk. Now, I told y'all I could dunk a little bit, right? I'm gonna tell y'all why. Look, I put my dunk at a 75. Look, I got a couple things I gotta change, obviously, in order to get this dunk up. Let me see the things I gotta change real quick. All right, so this is gonna be at a 50. Wait, oh yeah, right here. All right, this is what I'm missing. Boom, boom, I do this. Hold on. Let me show y'all real quick. Boom, 96, I get my dunk at a 75. 75 driving dunk. Now, let me talk about the dunk real quick. Now, when you're, when you're shooting your three ball, right and let's say you're greening your threes you're greening your threes boom boom consistently they're gonna start to double you when they start to double you you gotta go to the hoop now if you don't have any kind of driving dunk you're gonna get swatted you're gonna get swatted you're gonna go up for a layup they're gonna block you you gotta have some sort of dunk so you can go ahead at least get rim grazers hangs off to or like back scratchers okay that's the dunks i have on in order for me to dunk the ball boom that's what you need for dunk Obviously, you're a elite three-point shooter. You're going to be a elite ball handler, a elite playmaker, and you're going to be super, super fast, obviously, with all those playmaking badges. Now, for the defense, right? Y'all probably like, yo, I am. What is this defense, man? Like, I need defense on my build. I'm one of those people that need defense. Now, listen, if you're a comp pro-am guard or you're a comp stage guard or you're even a comp part guard, I know there's not a lot of those out there, but if you're one of those or a red guard, you don't need defense if you're playing with a set five. If you're playing with a set five, you're going to be most likely playing two, three zone, and you're going to be guarding the corner. You're going to have a lockdown guarding ball for you. Like you see Steph Curry in real life when they was back in the, and they're not their prime, but when they was back, when they was in their prime in the finals, who was guarding Kyrie Irving? It was Clay Thompson that was guarding Kyrie Irving. All right, the best defender on the team usually was guarding Kyrie. Curry was chasing off ball defenders all right because you don't want to waste his energy on defense okay and he don't got no defense like that so listen you don't need defense on this build obviously now if y'all looking at me crazy like yo why am you this deep like you need defense od bro you don't need defense you don't need steal you know why because this game right here you can blitz people and you can get lane steals without having steal look at this clip right here i'm about to show you Boom, so y'all seen that clip, right? I'm trying to tell you, you really do not need defense this year. I mean, for, for a PG, you don't need defense. For every other build, you're gonna need defense, okay, obviously. But right here, I feel like this is the best build in the game so far. Like as a guard build, this is the best build. Not only do you get 96 three ball and you get all these bags of gold in Hall of Fame, you get a 95 ball handle, you get a 91 speed with ball and a 93 acceleration. That's really all you need. And on top of that, being elite in two categories, you're still decent in the dunking category, all right? You're still decent in finishing with a 75 driving dunk. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you all a few tips. Let me go ahead. Let me finish this builder up, right? And then I'm going to give you all a few tips on what you should do in order to like shoot better and in order to just just like i'm gonna give you all a few tips all right it's really gonna help y'all out so stay tuned now you see right here shades of darius garland kenny smith and trey young now listen if you don't like those shades right you can go right back to edit build real quick boom and i'm gonna give you all the exact ones to get the curry shade you keep all these the same right you keep all this the same boom you keep all this the same you put that at a 56 you lower this and you put this at a 26 boom everything is the same right here right now watch look at these shades right here you hit x you hit continue and watch the shades change real quick you see the shades change look at that man nick van axel trey young and that boy steph curry man the chef i'm telling you this is one of the best builds in the game go ahead i'm not gonna lie if you play one of those modes i was talking about go ahead make this build get good at dribbling if you want a dribble tutorial let me know down below in the comment section and i got y'all and let me give you all a few tips right quick before i end off this video this is the badges i've gotten so far okay the super important badges you're gonna need this year i'm not gonna lie you're gonna need blinders you're gonna need killer combos you're gonna need speed booster you're gonna need limitless range you're gonna need agent threes and you're gonna need dead eye okay and obviously handles for days and these are the su like super super important badges right here you're gonna once y'all unlock floor setters these badges right here they're not gonna be able to go down you see let me see if one of these badges is going down for me i'm not gonna lie not a lot of these badges are gonna be going down because i've been playing the game but look right here catch and shoot you see that little red arrow right below catch and shoot it's going down because i'm not shooting that many catch and shoots so let's say you don't want your catch and shoot to go down and you unlock the floor setters you can go ahead put let's say you unlock gold catch and shoot right you put on gold catch and shoot and you put it in your floor setter category basically it will never go down below gold okay even if you don't use it it will never go down below gold 
So that's one thing right there. Boom. Another thing. You go right here, you go to controller settings. Turn off your shot meter, man. Turn off your shot meter. And your shot timing visual cue, I'm going to give you all a little bit of a tip, all right? Push is late from last year, okay? Push is late from last year. What is it called? Set point is early from last year, okay? It's early. So set point is early release timing. Push is late release timing. And release is obviously like when you're releasing the ball, okay? And jump, I think, and jump is right right when he jump. Push, I feel like in my opinion, is the best timing there is because it's late, okay? So you're not releasing it too early. You're not releasing it too super late. You don't have to look at when he jumps. You just have to release it just a little bit late. Hold the square button a little bit and you should be good. That's it for the video, man. Do me a quick favor if y'all like that video. Hit that subscribe button for your boy and go ahead, go follow me on Twitch. I'm going to be live almost every day. Twitch.tv slash it's just YM. And that's it, man. YM.